Just what he said. He will do. He will do. He's gonna fulfill. He's gonna fulfill every promise. Every promise spoken to you. This to you. Don't give up. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. He won't give up, give up on, you. on you. He's able. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
Even though it's hard, Lord, we won't give up on you, Lord. No, we won't give up on you. Because you won't give up, you won't give up, you won't give up. Even though it's hard sometimes, but we won't give up on you. You are working it out, Lord. Yes, you are, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. We honor you, Lord. We give you glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 If we sing no other song, you are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You have a beautiful name. We may call you different names, but it doesn't matter what we call you. Jesus, Yahweh, King of Kings, Healer, Savior, Father, Deliverer, Daddy. You have the most beautiful name. The most beautiful name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody knows the name Jesus. Some may say it in a blaspheming way. Some don't even realize when they're calling his name. But his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ our King. We know as a church body this morning, we know the power that his name has this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know the power that it has. Hallelujah. It is a beautiful name this morning. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a beautiful name, what a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is, the name, the name of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful name, what a beautiful name it is. Nothing, nothing comes. Do you 
you Jesus he said what a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer eternal righteous father God we honor you we glorify you we lift you up heavenly father for you are king of king and lord of lord we thank you this morning for Calvary we thank you, O God, for the cross. Father, Lord, so many things have been happening over the week, but we thank you for open doors this morning that we can come through in your sanctuary, Lord, to praise you, to lift you up, to worship you. Some have had a rough week, Father. Some have heard of sad news. But Lord, O God, in the midst of everything, you are still God. And you said, Heavenly Father, 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all our cares upon you, for you care it for us. Heavenly Father, your children, 
are standing in your presence. Some are sitting. And Lord, Heavenly Father, you see their hearts, you see their design. Lord, Heavenly Father, some, oh God, force themselves to come to your house because of pains and ache. But Lord, this morning we stand upon your word. Because you told us in Isaiah 53 that you were wounded for our transgression. You were bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon thee. And by your stripes we are healed. Father, there are those, O oh God, that sickness is rocking their body. But Father, Lord, O oh God, you created this body. You breathe the breath of life into this body. And this body become a living soul. And so, Father, Lord, oh God, I lift up your children. Those that are under hospital, oh God, hallelujah. Father, oh God, because of some sickness. But this morning, Lord, I'm lifting up each individual. Lord, you know the case. Father, that Lord, oh God, as Moses said, as he's been lifted up in the wilderness, so shall be the Son of Man. And so, Lord, I plead the blood over every sickness. Because every week that was put on your body was for the healing of the nation. Father, Lord, oh God, these days we have to trust you. Father, Lord, because, oh God, the medication for one symptom. And before you know it, you have so many symptoms. But right now, Lord, oh God, I send the Holy Spirit to each individual home. And wherever those medications are, Father, we plead the blood over it. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every side effect. In the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, we know you are the deliverer and the healer. You are our sustainer. You are our provider. And Lord, we lift up, oh God, the family that have family that are sick. And Lord, they do not know who to look to. But I pray this morning that we look to the altar and the finisher of our faith, which is in Christ Jesus. And so, Father, Lord, even right now, I plead the blood, oh God, from the rostrum right down to the pew. Every seat, Heavenly Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will move upon our body. I pray that the Holy Spirit will burn out, oh God, the Holy Ghost, every, every infirmity in the name of Jesus. And we will start to thank you and give you new praise by faith believing. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, oh God, I lift up those that are bereaved. I lift up, oh God, the family of our sister Brian this morning. I pray, oh God, that Lord, wherever the family is, as they come together, I pray, oh God, for peace in the name of Jesus. I lift up Sharon Davis. Father, oh God, her nephew was shot in Jamaica, 22 year old. And so, Lord, I lift up the family here and those that are in Jamaica. I pray, Father, that as they come together, there will be no retaliation in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, for Sister Sharon Atkinson, the family who will be traveling, hallelujah, to Jamaica. I pray, God, a covering over them. I pray a covering, oh God, hallelujah, for the vehicle that will take them to the airport. Father, when they sit on the plane, Heavenly Father, the seat that they're sitting, I plead the blood. And that when it land in Jamaica, hallelujah, the, the transport that will pick them up, I plead the blood, Heavenly Father. And Lord, oh God, you know the hotel or where they will be staying. I send the Holy Ghost on before Father in the name of Jesus. And that as they travel, Father, cover them under the blood of Jesus. Protect them because you say when you see the blood, you will pass over. And that, Lord, they will enjoy, hallelujah, another part, of oh God, of your creation in the name of Jesus. And you will bring them back to us in Jesus' name. And for all those that will be traveling, yes, Father, the holiday has started lord oh god for the children and so i cover oh god the homes of the children because lord in these days parents have to work hallelujah and they have to leave their children at home and so lord i come against every principality and powers in the name of jesus i cover them with the blood of jesus i cover their going out and they're coming in i pray
pray that you will sustain them, Heavenly Father. Lord, even when the parents are away, Father, and that, Lord, oh God, the enemy will not lead them astray, Father, that they will go into any shop, oh God, and steal or do anything. So I cover each individual, the children, and Lord, oh God, that you will protect them, Father. Lord, oh God, and even for those who will be traveling, oh God, with their parents on holiday, I cover them in the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify you. We praise you, Father. We thank you because you are the King of kings. And Lord, Heavenly Father, I lift up the family because, Lord, oh God, you are the author of the family. But the old dragon do not like to see when the family is close together. So I cover the family, Father. And Luke, Yatalo, Seketele, Bianamakuto. Shanda kalabayesi koto. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. And I send the Holy Ghost to the workplace in the name of Jesus. There are so many under so many stress, Father. So I plead the blood, oh God, and I send the Holy Ghost at the workplace, Heavenly Father. Lord, oh God, halababoshe tonia. And we thank you. And so, Father, whatever I fail to put before you, don't fail to grant it unto us and I pray by faith as your children take their step back to their seat father whatever they came for prayer believe that you have answered in the name of Jesus so we glorify you and we praise you and we honor you hallelujah because you told us in your word surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And Lord, so I leave the rest of the service into your hands. And we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. you go back to your seats believe in God I'm going to ask you to stand as we get ready to read this morning's scripture which is taken from Philippians 2 verse 9 to 11 that's Philippians 2 verse 9 chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 if you can stand please do in reverence to God's word. If you found it, say amen. amen. We'll read it together, it's just two verses. We shall begin. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. You may have noticed this morning a theme that I have maybe been referring to is about the name of Jesus and just declaring that name over every situation that we are in or that we are going through and I did a little bit of looking and uh, searching as I said last time my friend is Google you can always rely on Google to give you an answer. It may not be the accurate answer, but they will always give you an answer. And I was looking at how many times the name of Jesus or names referred to God is in the Bible. Anyone want to think they could have a guess, Pastor? Think how many times do you think? A lot. <laughs> That's a good get out clause, Pastor. A lot. Any other? Reverend Calvin? You said a lot. You think it's the same? Anybody want to go for a rough number? They don't have to be accurate. Thousand? Ten thousand? Three thousand. Okay, that's a good guess, Lorna. Anybody else? We know we said a lot. We said roughly they it appears to be mentioned in the Bible, God's name or reference in ways to God's name. Four thousand four hundred and eighty-four times. 
and there probably is more than that. As I said, it may not be exactly accurate, but roughly about that. So it means that the amount of names and amount of times that God's name is in his word, just to remind us and reassure us of how great he is. Amen. Amen. I would like to take this opportunity now to welcome you this morning to the house of the Lord, Wills New Testament Church of God. We hope that you feel welcome this morning. I'd like you just to turn to the person next to you or near you and just say, nice to see you or welcome them this morning. So everybody should now feel welcome. In God's house. And if you are with us for the first time, we would like to extend a special welcome to you this morning. So we're just going to ask you just to stand. If you are here with us for the first time, we won't make you do anything, I promise, just to recognize you. If we do have any first time visitors. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Feel welcome this morning. And if you do not have a regular place of worship to attend, please feel free to join us here. Um, every week we are here at 11 a.m. on a Sunday, lifting up the name of Jesus. And for those visitors, we'd like to recognize our host pastor, our Bishop Robinson, and his beautiful wife, Sister Faye. We'd just like to ask you to stand, sir and ma'am, for our visitors that are here. I show them some love, Wilson. We also have our associate minister, our Reverend Audrey Robb. Um, she'll be coming to us in a moment. But we can just also have some appreciation. And all our other ministers and everybody else that is in the house feel welcome this morning. As I said, at this time now, our Pastor Audrey will be coming to us. Greetings to you this morning, church, in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Let me just read a few important um, notices to you. Our sister Marcia Allen McLeod says she wants to express her thank you and appreciation for prayers, text messages, and um, acts of inspiration, gifts during the difficult period on the loss of her mother when they went to Jamaica to lay her to rest. Your kindness and thought, faithfulness, um, faithful thoughts were never forgotten, will never be forgotten. God bless you all, always, Sister Marcia and McLeod. Sister Janet Ashman is back from Jamaica. She went to um, say farewell to her mother. I don't know if she's here today. She's not here today, but she's back. And she, again, she wants to express her gratitude to the church. Now, sadly, very sadly, yesterday um, afternoon, we lost our sister Ivy Bryant, went home to be with the Lord. Sister Ivy Bryant is a long-standing member of this church, um, but she hasn't been to church for a very, very long time. She's been house burner for quite a few years. So we want to remember her children in prayer. Sister Reverend Patterson did pray today, but um, we want to continue to lift them up now at this very sad and difficult time. Now, you know, we are a church that cares, and we often um, show our caring through great expressions of love, through prayer, um, through giving of gifts. And it's endless when it comes to words, and we're also kind. And when we have our loved ones in hospital, again, it's another time when we do show our um, support. Our sister Joy just wants to, again, um, express how grateful she is for all our support through prayers and visits um, in particular. But she's also now asking, along with the medical staff, that for the time being, that we refrain from visiting to allow our brother Sam to have some um, extensive rest to aid his recovery. And then when we are able to visit again, and we'll be, we'll be told when we can do so, to let her know when we'd like to visit so she's able to tell the staff and they'll be prepared for us. And when we do get the opportunity to go again, it is requested then that we do not um, question the medical staff about anything regarding our brother Sam, but leave that for the family um, to speak to the medical professions accordingly. So your cooperation, your understanding, your sensitivity, your love, put it all together 
and we have a really great strong body that understands each other for the right reasons. Do you agree? Wonderful. Thank you so much. God bless you. Good morning, brethren. Um, we shall now be having the announcements. Um, the tuck shop will be open today after the service in the Lewinson Centre. A national convention takes place next weekend, the 27th to the 29th of July. If you wish to go to the convention, please contact the national office directly. Um, the number is in your Come Alive. Um, the Sunday coach to the convention is £25 and leaves at 7 a.m. from outside this building. And please see Sister Blair if you have any queries on that. Please note also that there will be no evening service next week Sunday due to the convention. No evening service next week Sunday. Family Fun Day to Margate takes place on Saturday the 4th of August. Prices are adults £20 and those under 16 £13 each. Secure your seat with your name and a deposit of £10. Please see Sister Blair, Sister Dawn Lewinson or Sister Sharon Grant for further information. Um, Restore the Victory, a night dedicated to God's tangible presence, is here at Wilsdon next, um, on Saturday the 4th of August. Sorry, Tickets are £5 each. Doors open at 3pm for a 4pm start. The host is James Thompson and worship will be led by Davinia Robinson, Esther Bonsu, Wesley Henry and many others. Please um, see Come Alive for a list, the full list of those ministering. Choirs in Praise takes place um, on Saturday, the 22nd of September at 5.30 p.m. Um, it's a Sound of Deliverance Conference. Sorry, Sound of Deliverance Concert. Please see Come Alive for a list of those ministering and the price of tickets. God bless you. Praise the Lord. God is good? Amen. Amen. We've got lots of things to keep us busy here at Wilsden, even throughout our summer. We're going to be worshipping the Lord with our tithes and offering at this time. So I'll ask our ushers to wait on us.
and you will accept it, Lord, and bless it, that you will continue to bless your people here and earth and extend your word. Bless your people continually and provide for those who are out of jobs at this time. We pray, God, that you will provide for them in a mighty way that they will be able to give to your house. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank God that there's no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah. Let's give God a clap offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We will minister. We want to lift up holy hands in the presence of the Lord. Our Lord is Lord of all, regardless. Amen. Amen. We can trust God to lift up our hands uh, and lift up our hearts in praise. Because we know that when we're in his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Can we even think about that? Can we imagine it? Do you want pleasures forevermore? Choir, do you want pleasures forevermore? We want pleasures forevermore. I want pleasures forevermore. Let's continue to worship the Lord as we worship today. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 to that time, the service where we are now going to hear from God. We have praised Him, we've lifted Him up, we've glorified Him, we've given back to Him and now He is going to pour back into us. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. If it was up to me, I would just carry on singing and worshipping, but that is not how we permit our service to be. So at this time, I'm going to ask a, a beautiful young lady who's coming to the fore. That's our sister Davinia Robinson. She's coming to share with us this morning. Can we just give her a round of applause as she comes? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. We lift you up. We exalt you. We extol you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. For he is worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of your worship this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, while you have an opportunity to open up your mouth and to lift your hands and to give glory to the one to whom glory and honor is to. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise be unto God. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. We glorify him this morning. As you are getting yourselves ready, let's just turn ourselves in scripture to Habakkuk chapter 2, please. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can still worship while you're finding the scripture. It's okay. God doesn't mind, and I certainly do not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Habakkuk, chapter 2. We're going to read verses 1 through 4, but my focus this morning will be on verses 2 and 3. And we're going to read, first of all, in the King James Version, and then for other understanding, we're going to read some other versions. But it's still the Bible, amen? Amen. King James Version, Habakkuk 2, 1 through 4. When you found it, let me know you found it. If you haven't found it, let me know you haven't found it. Then all you have to do is look up and it's on the screen. Amen. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables and he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Now I'm going to turn to the contemporary English version and just focus on verses 2 to 3. But you can follow me if they have it on the screen. Great. If not, you can get the gist of it from here. I'm going to read it in three versions in total. Contemporary English version says, Then the Lord told me, I will give you my message in the form of a vision. 
write it clearly enough to be read at a glance. At the time I have decided, my words will come true. You can trust what I say about the future. Make it, it may take a long time, but keep on waiting. It will happen. And I'm going to finally read the New Living Translation of the same verses. It says, Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets so that the runner can carry the correct message to others. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. So this morning we want to talk about waiting. The thing that nobody wants to do. Now, in context, Habakkuk, the person who was uh, noted in this scripture, had been facing some really tough situations. There were lots of really terrible things that he was witnessing. Anybody can testify to that? Anybody watched the news recently? Terrible things happening around. And he didn't want to just sit down and take it. He wanted to understand what was happening. And so he did something that many of us don't do. He asked God some questions. It's okay to question him. Do you know that? It's okay to question God. And God gave him an answer, which was that he had promised certain things. And write down what he had promised so he could remember it, so that others could see it, because it would come to pass. That it may take some time for what he had promised, but that it would come to pass. Anybody been waiting? Anybody still waiting? Anybody enjoy waiting? Some people do said yes and some people said no. I like to think that sometimes when you know what you're getting and you know that there's a time and a place that it's coming, you enjoy waiting. The excitement leading to your birthday or to Christmas when you know that you know that you know that you're getting that thing that you asked for. But for some of us, there is not a time that has been given to us. And some of us, even though we have a time, the waiting is difficult. Pregnancy is a nine-month period just about. It doesn't mean it's not difficult when the baby starts to move and come down the birth canal. Amen? And if you're like me, you baked for an extra couple of weeks. I didn't want to come out, but we'll talk about that another time. So during this process in the book of Habakkuk, he went from being consumed and overwhelmed and overcome by the situations that he was facing to someone who was then fixed on God, who became his strength. He went from a place of distress to a place of authority and confidence in God because he trusted what the Lord had said. So today we're going to talk about waiting, we're going to talk a little bit about seeking, and we're going to talk a little bit about going. Is that all right? Guess what? Waiting is a verb. Just like praise is a verb, worship is a verb, it's something that you do. So the dictionary definition of waiting is to remain inactive until something expected happens, often followed by for or till or until in a sentence. Waiting is to be available in readiness for something. Like a letter is waiting for you or a gift is waiting for you or a bill is waiting. You're expecting it. You know that this is a demonstration is of Ustream you, producer. You're expecting that it's coming. To remain neglected for a time. To postpone or to delay or to be postponed. To look forward to eagerly, to continue as one in expectation to await at a period, period of, or interval of waiting. Now these days, as nice as we all like to pretend we are cool with every situation and circumstance, most of us, if we are honest, do not enjoy waiting for anything. And our lifestyle this is a demonstration these of days Ustream means producer. that we don't have to wait for anything. You see, we have microwave meals. How you can cook a chicken in two minutes, I don't know. You, you, you have uh, fast food. We've got online banking. 
We've got apps for this and apps for that. For those of you who want to send money home, you have MoneyGram and Western Union. Instantly, someone can be on the end of the phone receiving the money that you sent. Whereas before, you'd have to put it in an envelope and make it look like it wasn't money. This is and a demonstration it of Ustream producer. Intercept it. Remember? You wouldn't send it in the birthday card. You send it like it was a letter and fold the letter a few times so the notes wouldn't be... Anyone did that? Okay. But now you have MoneyGram. You just walk into the post office. You send the money. You put a code in. Tell them what the code is. They pick up the money just like that. We've got Uber Eats and Deliveroo. So, I mean, you, know, you know what that is? Is when you know that McDonald's doesn't deliver, but you send a man on a bike to go pick up what you're craving for at whatever time of night, and he brings this it to your door. This is a demonstration so of you stream the producer. So even if wherever it is you like to eat doesn't deliver, you can send the guy on the bike and he'll bring it to you. We have text messages. We have same day and next day delivery. Amazon Prime, anyone have that? Praise God for Amazon Prime. You need it tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Praise Jesus. Whereas before, they'd have to take five to seven days and they'd make you pay ridiculous money to get it. And then it would depend on if the postman came. Now you get a courier straight to your door. This my is phone a demonstration today, of you stream producer. At 10 o'clock, I'll have another phone at my door because I pay for that service to be instant. Text messages, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. Not Telegram, you know. Not them things. Instantly. In fact, I snapped a message just before I came into church. You know what Snapchat is? You take a picture and you can put a phrase or you can just write something and it's instantly projected into wherever, whoever's following you. And the reason I this did that was because This is a demonstration I of you stream producer. When I was in the back room changing into my top, somebody walked through the door who nearly killed me dead, who I was not expecting who had said she would not be coming to no church anytime soon. And so Jesus is coming because she came this morning to surprise me. Nella has come to church, praise the Lord. <laughs> we thank God. Miracles, signs, and wonders have already happened before service. So expect. All right. This is so a demonstration of you stream producer. So when we then have to wait for something, it becomes even more of a chore. If I don't have to wait for money, Nella's like my daughter, right? So I get these text messages. Mom, can you send me some money, please? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And instantly, this, this app thing is a problem. Because before, you'd have to go to the cash point. You'd have to draw the cash. You'd have to drop it. Now, I can just send it to her in an app. The this is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Just like this. But the good thing is she has the app so she can send it back to me too. Praise Jesus. All right. So we don't have to wait weeks or months or years for certain things because instantly technology and the way and the time that we live in enables us to have things with speed. And so we have access to a lot of things. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It's a wonderful thing when you don't have to wait. Now recently, speaking of food, we ordered some food. We order some Chinese This is a demonstration of Ustream Daddy producer. To bless us with his bank card, so we were going all the way in. And so we were ordering the food, and what happened was we went to pay, and it was a place that we used regularly, but they said the card was declined. I was like, run the card again. She sounded like a new person. She sounded like she didn't really know what she was doing, and she was fiddling with the buttons in the background, and she's typing it in. So I'm like, oh, she's new. Maybe she didn't get it right. So she ran it again. And it said, no, it's rejected. So she didn't say declined. She said rejected. I'm like, what do you mean rejected? What's this the is code? a demonstration you know, the of Ustream producer. Yeah. There's an insufficient funds code, and then there's other codes. So it wasn't that code. So I was like, praise the Lord. Okay, we're okay. We're fine. And so what I asked her to do was to explain to me the code. And she didn't know, but she gave me the number. Uh, and the number said restricted. It was code number 62, and it said it was a restricted card. So... It just didn't quite work. So I asked Leanne's friend, Google. <laughs> I asked Leanne's friend, uh, and Philippa says it's her best this friend. This is a so demonstration I of Ustream producer. It's her best friend. You just say, Google, what is this? So Google told me that restricted card usually meant something to do with fraud. So I was like, okay. So this is all happening whilst I'm on the phone to the lady at the restaurant. So I said, you know, we'll pay cash. That's fine. And then I went to dad and explained what happened. 
it's now nine o'clock at night on a Friday or Saturday or something like that. And so we called the bank because banking is 24 hours now. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to go to the bank to tell them that the card is not working. This is a demonstration of Ustream Men producer. And worry that someone's taking all of your money. So we went and called them and they explained that there was some fraudulent activity on his card. And what they'd done is they took a pound 50 here and three pounds there and they're testing the account to see if you notice it. And then eventually they just come for the rest of it. Now I've had my account wiped totally out a few weeks before Christmas one year and it was not a pleasant experience. But because again of this instant access, this technology, immediately they remedied this the situation. This is a demonstration of Ustream the producer. The card and Monday came the card. It was wonderful. And they didn't get to teeth all of his money and they gave him back the couple of pounds that they took from him and we had the Chinese food, so it was a good day. But imagine if this was before we had instant access. The waiting, the, the distress that waiting can cause us. But you see, then what happened was he just wanted to double check. So he logged into his banking app. Yes, saints, my dad has come a long way. This is a demonstration a of Ustream producer. He checked his balances and made sure so everything was fine and we could be settled because we didn't have to wait to see if everything had gone. Amen. So we have been able to, to, to check and have this instant access in this 24 hour thing. Now we seem to forget as Christians that we have that same access to Jesus. We have instant access and have always had instant access to Christ Jesus. But we don't seem to exercise the this access. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Because then when he says, wait, you don't want to hear that. But sometimes the waiting is to teach us something. Now, sometimes it's not the way that we want it. It's not in the form that we want it. I used to have an app when I lived in New York where I could take a picture of a check that someone had written me and it would deposit the funds into my account. I didn't have to go to the bank. So when I came back to England, I was like, I have to actually take a check to the actual This is bank. a demonstration of Ustream producer. There are reasons and rhymes for why things can't be done in a particular way. Now, thinking of when you want food and you want to take a shortcut and you don't plan like me when mum and dad are away and you've been working all day and realize that hunger has come, rather than going and preparing the chicken and washing the chicken, yes, don't let my skin tone fool you. And don't believe the, the lies that they say in the news. You must wash your chicken. But anyway, when you go to the takeaway, this is a demonstration you don't know if of Ustream producer. Chicken. You don't know if they cleaned their chicken. You don't know if they dropped it on the floor before they put it in the box for you. So when your belly is running you, it's the shortcut because you didn't prepare. You couldn't wait. You all, don't, you, you all heard about scores on the doors? Okay, check that app, guys. That's a good one to have. Check before you go. So, my parents are cringing right now. It's all right, it's all right, it's all this right. This is a demonstration of you honest, stream producer. It's hard to wait. It's hard to wait on that relationship that you've been seeking, that husband or wife that you want, the intimacy that you seek for, the family crisis that is pending, and you need an answer, and you need there to be some type of resolution, but it's hard to wait and not take action yourself and allow God to do what he does best. The pressures and the health issues. But how do I wait when I'm feeling pressure? So we turn to the word this of God. This is a demonstration of you stream producer. How and why we should wait. And just after this, Ryan's going to come and bring some stuff for me to help me out. Psalms 27, 14 says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. In the New Living Translation, it says, wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. In the message, it says, I'm sure now I'll see God's goodness in the exuberant this earth. This is a demonstration stay with God. of you, stream Take producer. Heart. Don't quit. I'll say it again. Stay with God. We sometimes get so fed up of waiting because everything else is at our fingertips. But if you want to do it yourself, I guarantee it won't last. But what God does, he does well. 
In Psalms 130, it says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. In the New Living Translation, it says, I'm counting on the Lord. Yes, I'm counting on him. This is a I've demonstration of Ustream producer. Word. And the Amplified Bible says, I wait patiently for the Lord. My soul expectantly waits, and in his word do I hope. And one more scripture, Psalms 37, 7, says, Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about the evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. This is it a only demonstration of you stream producer. And in another version, it says, Don't be annoyed by anyone who does wrong and don't envy them. They will soon disappear like grass without rain. And we've seen that happening in this season, right? Trust the Lord and live right. The land will be yours and you will be safe. Do what the Lord wants and he will give you your heart's desire. Let the Lord lead you and trust him to help you. Then it will be as clear as the noonday sun that you were right. Wait on the Lord. This is a demonstration be of you stream producer. And he will strengthen your heart. Wait confidently. Expect the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait confidently. And finally, Isaiah 40, 31, you know this one. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And I like this translation. It says, but those who this wait for the Lord, who expect, of you stream who producer, for, who hope in him will gain new strength. And renew their power. They will lift up their wings and rise up close to God. They will run and not become weary. And they will walk and not grow tired. You can come ahead, Ryan. Now the problem that we have is whilst we are waiting, many of us are idle. We're not doing what the scripture says, which is seeking God. During our season of waiting. This is a demonstration of if Ustream sitting, producer. Waiting for a bus. Looking at the clock on the bus stop that tells you when the next bus is coming. All you end up doing is sitting. Watching time. Getting irritated that you've been waiting. And now you're going to be late for wherever you were supposed to go. That's what happens when we're waiting for our shopping list of blessings to come from the Lord. But waiting is an activity. Ryan, I'm going to need some more help. Can you grab me one of them chairs? So this is a demonstration of you stream producer. Now the verb seek is to be seeking. Again, it's an active word to go in search of, to try to find, to discover, to attempt, to ask, to search, to explore. Waiting and seeking go hand in hand. Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you why. Now, the issue is this. This is I a demonstration you about of what you you're stream doing producer. Whilst you are waiting for God. Most of us have sat and waited doing absolutely nothing and still expect God to do something. I write my shopping list. God, I want this, 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 and fold your hands and wait, and then get upset when it doesn't happen. But when it says that we have to focus on God, this is a demonstration of you, stream producer. Actively be engaging, seeking. The word says, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added." And it also says in context that faith without works is dead. You can't ask God for a husband and sit in your house and never leave and expect him to knock on your front door. Am I right? I can talk to that because that's my life. I, 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 I can't expect to meet someone to marry them if I never leave my this house. This is a demonstration you of you stream producer. I'm not saying do it for him. I'm saying seek God. You want a closer relationship with God? It won't land in your lap. So what happened is this. Let's move vision, because I know that some of you are stuck on the word vision, and many of us have visions, 
And some of our visions are simply because we ate too late before we went to bed. Yeah? Some crazy dreams and visions. You're battling all kinds of things, but you watch the silly TV program before you went to bed. This you is a demonstration with the TV on and of you stream producer. Dreams. That's not a vision from God. Yeah? And any vision God gives you will usually be in line with scripture, just like any word he gives you will be in line with the scriptures. So you on battleships shooting battle guns and Star Wars is not God giving you a vision. Just try to eat earlier and not watch foolishness on the TV. We have an awesome imagination. So while you are waiting and seeking, let's replace the word vision with gifts. This tools, is a demonstration of you stream producer. Are you with me? Now, some of you are so well equipped and you don't know it. Some of you are so well equipped and you don't use the gifts and the tools that you have. So let's deal with being equipped for purpose. Ryan, if you could just put those on the chair for me, please. You might need to use this chair that you have also so we can see them. Now, this is a demonstration of Ustream you producer. See, right? The camera will zoom into those so you can see what's happening here. We've got three toolboxes. We have the square looking one, the bag kind, and the cute little one there. And what we tend to do in church is we judge a book by its cover. Uh, and so we're looking, and surely this one must have the most use. Because this looks like a professional tool bag, like the one that the tradesmen on the this tube This is a used, demonstration right? of Ustream producer. And, and, and this one is nice and shiny and still even has the tag on it. So maybe it doesn't have as much stuff in there. And this one just looks like a lunchbox. So it must not be of any use. And the issue that we have, we're going to look into these toolboxes, is that we are all like this. We are all different shapes and sizes in our gifting in the abilities that God has given us. But the question is, what are you doing with the tools that God has equipped you with? This is a you demonstration of you right, stream so producer. First of all open this big one, please. Ryan is my wonderful assistant this morning. And we're off to a good start. He knows how to open it. That means something. His father was laughing in the background. So we have a saw, okay? What is a saw used for? Okay, we just leave that one there for now. Let's go in here. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. So in there, we're going to find, I'm sure, what is a typical tool you find in a toolbox? A hammer, okay. So we're going to look for this hammer. Awesome. We're going to look for this hammer. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, and there should be another one in there someplace. Yeah, that's right. Another hammer. These are both for the same reason. They're just two different sizes. It doesn't mean one's better than the other. This is it a just demonstration means that one is of Ustream producer. One can fit into my cute little bag, and the other one would need a bigger bag, but they're both hammers. Now, uh, what I need is maybe a screwdriver. Screwdriver. Oh, and the one you have in your hand as well. Yikes. I'll teach him, I promise. Two screwdrivers. Please. I'll try, I'll try. Two screwdrivers. This is a demonstration she, of Ustream, Ustream producer. These tools do the exact same thing. One is big, one is little. They still function as screwdrivers. Now, in there somewhere is a drill. We have a drill. Yes, these are all my tools, just saying. Okay, we have a drill, and we have the kit that goes with the drill set. He knows, he knows. We just got a game to use them. It's good. Now, um, Dad, you had some glasses this morning. Can you please pass them to me? It's perfect for my demonstration. This is actually. a demonstration of Ustream producer. Come, come, come. <laughs> this is what happens when you preach on me all the time. This is a pair of glasses. Now, this morning it was a functioning pair of glasses, but when you don't have a glasses case, or you don't care your tools, this is what happens. 
Praise Jesus. I sound like my nan. All right. So here I have some glasses. Vision. The problem that we have, I'm going to talk about some of our tools now, is that when we're not this using a demonstration our tools for the purpose of they Ustream were producer. we have a problem. These glasses, in terms of vision, were made for him. So if I put these glasses on, Lord Jesus. <laughs> everything just, I feel a bit dizzy, I can't do that. Because they're made for him. The prescription on my glasses is different because the need that I have is different. When we look at what God is doing, we see things from different perspectives. But if you're trying to wear the glasses of this someone else, this is a demonstration else, of you stream are producer. Not, uh, removing the plank from your eye before you try and take the speck out of someone else's, then you're going to have a problem. You see, the purpose of these tools, this this hammer that I have right here, it doesn't matter whether I use the big one or the little one. If I hit the podium with the hammer, there will be damage. Now, the intention of the tools that God gave us was to equip us to build, to equip us to enhance, to equip us to empower, this is a demonstration to equip us of to strengthen, producer. to equip us to mold, to equip us if we need to do construction like we did in this building where we saw that it was falling apart and it didn't serve a good a purpose as we needed so we extended, we gutted everything out of it. I'm standing in what used to be the back hall and now it's the rostrum so now we can put more seats in the building. We broke something down with a purpose to reconstruct something even better. Am I right? So the problem this that we have, however, in most churches, producer. maybe not this one, but the church down the street, is that we use our tools to be destructive rather than to be constructive. It's okay, it's going to be one of those ouch ones today. You see, what happened was a few months or weeks back, we had someone come and preach and they gave us a word from the Lord for the church. They talked about revival in the church. They talked about a three-year period. And the week previous to that, another speaker came and spoke about the three-year period. This is a demonstration period. of Ustream Producer. Whilst you're waiting, then you would have heard three years. Two preachers, two weeks in a row visiting this church. And they spoke about revival. But what's been on my heart is that the problem that we as church globally have is we want to see revival... We want to see the vision of the Lord fulfilled. We want to see the benches filled. But we don't want to change anything. We don't want to work for anything. What we want is we this want is this tool bag over here looking nice producer. and shiny with the tag still on it. We want to look gifted. We want to keep all our gifts to ourselves. We want everything to be shiny and not used at all. So we can look like church. We can act like church. We can dress like church. We can have the Bosch logo on us. You see, this is good name brand tools. This ain't no Sainsbury's brand. I had to pay a good price for this one. This is a demonstration and in here of are Ustream producer. Drill bits. The drill bits in here, as well as the screwdriver pieces, are for me to be able to work on wood, for me to be able to work on masonry, and for me to be able to work on metal. So when I had to put up the shoe cabinet and all the other good stuff, you see, what happened was my grandfather gave me tools. Much to my mother's distress. This screwdriver was given to me by my grandfather. This big old ugly thing. This and is I a demonstration it. of you stream producer. It, and it's mine. The hammer too. And the other day I bent this. And I was heartbroken. But when I was preparing this message, that may be making you all cringe, I haven't even gone all the way there yet. I realized that if I'd have kept this screwdriver in the toolbox and not used it for the purpose, number one, no guests would have been able to come to my house because what I needed to break in order to fix This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. So the bend that it has is showing that it was used. Now, he used it, my dad used it, and now I've used it. That's three generations of use that this old dirty screwdriver has had. It's not necessarily as good as an electric screwdriver, but the purpose that it served is still effective. 
And I say that before all of your mature saints figure out she's trying to change the world. No. Some of the old stuff is some good stuff. Some of the old stuff this lost. This is a demonstration and it bent, it of Ustream break. producer. The, the top of the handle is shattered, but it hasn't broken. I was using this thing as a chisel. I was hammering it to snap some metal. And that's how it ended up. But if he knew that I had taken this screwdriver from him and put it in the toolbox and just left it there to look shiny in remembrance of him, it wouldn't have done its thing. It wouldn't have served its purpose. It wouldn't have helped me do the job that I needed to do. So it's not that we need to throw away everything that is old. Some of the old stuff that we do this has a demonstration purpose. Of you stream it's foundational. Producer. It is what we used as the landmark for building everything else. But if I wanted to drill an Ikea wardrobe with this, God help me, I'd still be doing it. So I had to go and buy the drill. Where's my drill? Thank you very much. You can take a seat, you know, it's cool. Thank you very much. This drill I bought recently because we needed to put up a wardrobe. When we moved house, I need to put some shoe cupboards up and some stuff. See, God knew what he was doing when he gave me the This is the a demonstration of Ustream producer. My dad... He works with books. <laughs> he works with education. He hears from God and preaches every week. He ain't got no time to put up no cabinet. You ever shook his hand at the door? Anyone shook my dad's hand at the door? Oh, Say it again, come on. Oh. The hands are soft, in it? Right, not at all. I feel for him when he has to mow the lawn, his hands get blistered. He was not created for that. Little do you know this that when he was called to ministry, he was doing producer. the carpentry internship. And God called him. You know how he called the disciples from being fishers of men? He called him from being a carpenter like Jesus to be a fisher of men because he knew his hands couldn't take it. You see, this will happen when you preach upon me every week. You see, I get my own back. Amen. All right. So I went and I bought this Black & Decker drill. It has a light on it. It has a hammer thing. What the drill my granddad gave me had a cord. It was limited. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. It couldn't do anything other than stay in the house. And it could only drill wood. This thing drills metal. It drills brick. It drills wood. It's got a screwdriver on it. It's got a hammer on it. It's got a light on it. It's got everything on it. When he gave me that, now it doesn't have the buffer that it, the one that my granddad gave me had, but sometimes we have to upgrade. Sometimes we have to make changes. It's not the, 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 the you know, I mean, I'm this sentimental about the screwdriver. God knows I really producer. cried when it meant. Because it means something to me. It's something that was passed to me. But what we are doing is we're sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're not changing the message. We're not changing the story. All we're trying to do is adjust the method in which we deliver it. It's okay. He didn't put me up to this, but it's okay. You see, I've realized that. If we don't use the tools that we have for purpose and we just sit down and have this them because we're having them sake, of you stream it producer. Mean anything. God gave us gifts to be used. Like the, 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 the parable of the talents when he gives the talents out and then the other one comes with them buried and just gives him back the same thing that you gave to me. God wants us to be empty of all our gifts. He wants us to get rid of everything that he gave us and give it away, give it to someone, use it for his glory. You see, the problem that we have in this tool bag over here. Let's this, this is a demonstration I of Ustream I producer. I hope you're praying, guys. This way it gets to that point. In my toolbox that I bought, I've got one of these. You know what this is? Uh-huh. What's this for? The Bible says you must test the spirit. But the problem is that we have is our level of spirituality. This is a demonstration is a of you stream producer. We're judging people's spirituality by the hue of their garments. We're judging people's spirituality by how many times they do cartwheels and say hallelujah. And the problem is I have two spirit levels. While you're measuring someone else's spirit, measure your own. Measure your own. And while you want to be measuring this, 
Stop measuring yourself against someone else's measurements. God created you to be who you are. You want to use it to measure the length of my skirt? Oh dear, I'm wearing trousers. Listen this to me. Stop measuring people producer. in the way that you think is right. Our culture and our religion is not what Christ wanted us to do. Go ye therefore into all nations preaching the gospel. He didn't say wait till they come in the church and transform them into what you want them to look like. If I look like my dad, which I do, and if I look like my mum and I only ever did what they did, I wouldn't be standing here today. Because we're all different. In fact, I didn't want to ever preach because I couldn't be like him. I couldn't give the word like this he could give This is a demonstration like of Ustream Bible. producer. I ask him a question, where is this? He can tell me the verse and chapter and everything. I have to Google it. So I was measuring myself against this man that has many master's degrees in theology and here's me, don't even have a diploma in Bible study. How do I expect to measure against someone with all those years of study and education? But God said, and my dad told me, Davinia, if he wanted another me, he would have called another me, but this he called you. This is a demonstration you. of you, stream Stop producer. Stop measuring yourself to everybody else's standards because you will never measure up and you will never do what God has called you to do. So while you're waiting, stop allowing people to measure you. Stop measuring everybody else. Why don't they pick up a tool and do something instead of sitting there watching you do nothing? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe your glasses need a new prescription. Maybe your hearing aid needs to be adjusted so you can hear God instead of your brothers and sisters talking this foolishness in your ears. Maybe you need to producer. adjust your position in the church sanctuary and don't sit in the seat you've always sat in for 20 years because it's your seat so that maybe you can embrace someone else and teach someone else and greet someone else and just do something a little bit different. The tools that we have to measure, to cut, to pull away, to tear down are so that we can then build up and put something else better in place. Please understand, I may be younger and you may not like the message and I, I'm not telling this you to tear away with all of, of the old. I'm saying producer. embrace all of the foundation that has been laid before us. Take it on board and carry it to the next place. We need to transition. We need to move forward. You want the benches full? Try do something a little bit different. You want to engage other people? Try let them see someone that looks like them. My, 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 my. See, this one was a hard one. Like I said, the drill that I have this does the same job as the screwdriver, but it does it quicker. Producer. It does it more effectively. I can't screw a screw into a bolt as quickly as a drill can do it. They still do the same thing, but if we can be quicker and more effective, if we can do things differently to enhance the way that the word is taken out to the world and to the community, then why don't we try doing something differently. Maybe I'm going to demonstrate it. Ryan, if you can come for me, please, quickly. Sister Blair, if you can come for me, please. Uh, Sister Dawn Lewinson, this if you can come for me, This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. I didn't warn these people. Only Ryan had warning. You can, um, yes, please come. Just stay down here. We're going to stay down here. We're going to stay down here. Come to the front, though, please. I'm going to demonstrate what I'm saying in a shorter period of time, and hopefully you'll understand. Hold that for me, please. I need somebody else. Who's there? Is Dominic upstairs? Dominic, come. This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Reverend P, can you come? And the ushers are going to keep the hours clear for us. Come, guys. Here you go. Tie that around your ankles. Go to that area. Tie this is a area. demonstration a of you, stream right, producer. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Right. Uh... Can you, ladies, please come over this aisle for me, please? Just stand here. Kevin, 
you're going to stand with these ladies. Reverend P, you're going to come and stand just here. Right. What we have, we're all running a race. This we're is all a demonstration to of Ustream producer. We're all trying to do the same thing, but we all have different methods of doing it. Now, a practical experience was what happened was, sis, can you come and stand here for me, please? What we recently seen was Sister Blair handed over the mantle of the women's ministry and Dawn is now responsible. Yeah? Please hand that mantle. Okay. You see that, right? You thought I was going to make them run around the church, isn't it? Okay. Just, you're okay. Now, Sister P here has the egg and spoon. This is a demonstration of she Ustream has to producer. The weight of the anointing that is resting on her and the message that she has, it's very precious. If she drops it, it will break. I didn't bring a real one, you see, because I didn't want it to drop on the floor and mash up the carpet. But what she's carrying means she cannot run with speed because she has to balance the weight of what she's carrying with the journey that she's taking. So they may be able to go quicker. Now, these two over here now, and this is the church representation, are in a three-legged race. They can't run one this ahead of the other. You can't leave the other one behind producer. because together, these two big guys have got to make it all the way down the aisle without breaking the rope. Do you understand? And then what happens is Rev has this bat on here. Because though Rev can't run anymore, Rev still has a mouth. Rev still has prayer. Rev still has victory. Rev can cover you. She can pave the way, cut and clear and do all kind of stuff. So what happens now is Kevin comes along. And so she says now, Kevin, I've been praying this for you. I want to impart such and such and such to you. Producer. And she hands him this mantle. And now she says, Kevin, you now have to run. But whilst you're running, we don't discard the fact that she can't run anymore. Whilst he's running, she's praying. Whilst he's ministering, she's praying. Whilst he's going, she's at home covering him. She can watch on the live stream. She can do whatever she wants to do. So now she says, run. Now you all have to run too. And now you have to carry this across the front. We're all carrying things differently. We're all doing things differently. We all have different races at producer. different paces. But we are all running for the same purpose. We're running for the same cause. We're running, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. We're carrying, we're carrying, we're carrying. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Listen to what I'm trying to say. I hope you hear my heart. It's not about changing everything that we said and done and did and making everything new again. All I'm trying to do is say, let producer. us check our vision. Let us adjust what we're seeing and the way in which we see things. Let's understand that we are all together doing the same thing for the same reason. And we want to win people for Jesus. We just want to do the will of the Lord who sent us. It doesn't matter if it comes in a different package that you're not used to. It doesn't matter if it looks different to the way you're used to it looking. It doesn't matter if it feels a little bit different as long as God this is glorified. Of you producer so whilst you're waiting for your healing uh, and whilst you're waiting for your victory and whilst you're waiting for your promise and whilst you're waiting for your promotion and whilst you're waiting for vindication or you're waiting for your husband or you're waiting for your house or whatever it is that's on your shopping list why don't you wait actively why don't you wait with your hands outstretched why don't you wait with a praise in your heart why don't you wait while you're praying and lifting up praises unto God why don't you producer. wait actively for the blessing which God has promised you, Wilson? For they shall know the truth, and the truth shall set them free. If you believe that God gave this church a word, and if you believe that God's word is true, if you believe that God's word will not return unto him void, why don't we begin to position ourselves to receive the blessing and the revival this that God has promised us? Producer. If we remain the same and sow the same seeds, we'll reap the same crop. And I'm telling you now, 
in three years time, I'm expecting the church. I'm expecting the revival. But I don't start the clock now and wait for three years to then start doing something. This is Why a don't demonstration you of you stream producer. Why don't you bring one and then they bring someone? You see, isn't it so awesome that Nella came to church this morning? The girl who says she were never coming to no church anytime soon. We calculated the last time she came to church was five years. But just because of a relationship, not because she's looking for Jesus, she wanted to support me. And she wanted to support her mum who couldn't come by herself. She ain't saved and she don't this care about This is a demonstration of you stream producer. But she's here. I'm going to bait out your business just one second. I love you and everything. Nella came from the club last night to church this morning. Because she committed to her mother that she would bring her down to London from the sticks so that they could both be here to support lowly me. For what reason? You telling me God isn't moving? That's your business. This is a demonstration of you Not stream in London, producer. You know, from out in the bushes somewhere, she came from club to church. Came in 8 o'clock this morning and brought her mom to church. Yeah. You telling me that God can't do stuff? And I didn't even begin to pray for her yet, so God help her when the call comes. Do you understand what God is beginning to do now? Do you understand that? So, I'm going to close because time is going. But if you are waiting, let me encourage you to wait actively. And if you want us to pray to help you to reposition your thinking, of you to stream recause producer. your vision to become into alignment with God, why don't you just come to the altar? We're going to pray real quickly for you. If you're waiting for the Lord to do something, if God has promised you something, if, if God has been speaking to you about something, if God gave your word all that time ago and it hasn't come to fruition, try waiting differently. Try actively waiting. And when you want the change to come and you want to see what God is doing, this is a demonstration of you stream producer. Rather than sitting down complaining about what the church isn't doing yet. Be part of the change that you want to see. Be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Be the change. Be the catalyst. Do something differently. Rather than sit down and fold your arms and watch everything fall apart. Be a construction artist. Be a strengthener. Be an enabler. You sitting there saying they ain't doing this and they ain't doing that. Try asking the Lord and asking the leadership, is there something I this can do? This is a demonstration to help of you stream producer. To grow and to develop the church. Some of us are paid tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds every year to do our jobs professionally. And we come to church and we want it shabby shabby mech mech. It don't work like that. You want those people to come in, you want the doctors and the lawyers, everything in excellence. God said that he will supply all of our needs according to his riches in glory. This Hallelujah. is a demonstration of you and stream what a producer. Song. It's a new season coming to me. A season of power and prosperity. When you wait on God actively. When you wait on him actively. Hallelujah. Coming to me. Oh. It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new day. This is a demonstration Fresh of you, stream producer. It's coming my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new In the life of your daughters, in the life of your church, we glorify your name today, God. Oh, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It's a new season coming to me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's a new season. It's a new season. Of you, stream.
Stream Producer. It's a new day, a fresh anointing is coming my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new of deconstructed, broken people. Jesus. You've been broken. But you need to hear the word of the Lord for you. You need to hear the word of the Lord for you. You need to come this and hear the word of the Lord for you. Of you stream producer. This is a demonstration of you stream producer. It's okay, I'm not going to step on it. You've been broken into many pieces, like a, like, a, like a piece of crystal that has been smashed on the ground. They started chiseling away, and when the chiseling didn't work, they just, just dropped you and smashed smithereens, everything all over the floor, just smashed. And all the beauty that you saw in yourself, all of the joy that was contained within you was this just a demonstration of you stream producer. With the shattered pieces. But the Lord says, I have come to do some reconstruction in your life today. The Lord says, I can pick up every shattered piece of glass. And like a glass maker, I can melt it and mold it back together. I can beautify the ashes of your life, says the Lord. And I will do so until I see my reflection in that glass. You will be more beautiful than ever before. The reconstruction that I am doing in your you life producer. will be noticeable to those around you. And you shall testify of my glory. You shall testify of my greatness. You shall testify of my ability to cause you to be corrected where there were damage, says the Lord. Fresh anointing. Flowing my way. Hallelujah. Of you stream producer.
producer. Demonstration of Ustream producer. You've got a lot of gifts inside you. And you're wondering, when are they going to see them? When are they going to see not just that gift, but the other ones? You're getting used for just one gift, one gift all the time. Just one, just one, just one. But there are so many more that you have within you. And God is going to give you an opportunity to be seen. An opportunity to be seen. Not church stuff now, this is other stuff. This is secular professional. This is a demonstration of you stream stuff. producer. This is the, the dreams and the hopes and the desires that you had planned. You've 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 identified areas in your life that you want to go and things that you're trying to achieve and do. And you've been hitting brick walls where you keep getting blocked every time you try to go down a particular path. And every time you go there, you do it again and you do it better. And you do it again and you do it better and you prepare better for the next meeting and you prepare better for the next thing. But every time you go, it's like it's just blocked. But God says, I'm getting ready to set before you an open door, which no one will be this able to This is a demonstration shut. of you, stream producer. These doors because they're not the right opportunities for you. They're not the right doors that I want you to go through. But God says, I'm going to open some doors that you have asked for but didn't expect. Not the ones that you really wanted, but the ones you asked for and didn't think I could do. I'm going to show myself to you in ways you had never imagined so that you understand and know that it's not your mother, your father, your your sister but it's me the creator of the universe that has created and paved the way for your steps are ordered this is and a you will come to my house and you will share producer. the victory and you are called of me says the lord and in time and season i will create opportunities not just here but in other locations for you to share the gifts which i have imparted into you says the lord and we seal your word we seal your word we seal your word in the name of jesus he says that you are the head and not the tail that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in spite of what they have said to you in spite of what they have done to you you are the apple of my eye says the Lord hallelujah hallelujah and father we bless you we glorify and we honor you today for a fresh fire, a fresh anointing, a fresh experience of the Holy Ghost and fire. We bless your name today. And Father, we pray for your house. We pray for your church. We pray for your kingdom. We pray for the word that was spoken over this house for revival. And today this we say it is so in the name of Jesus. Producer. And Lord, it is a new season in this house. And we pray, Father, that where we need to be shaped, we will be shaped. Where we need to be molded, we will be molded. Where the change is different, Lord, and we feel uncomfortable, help us, Lord, to change according to your will. That nothing be done indecently and out of order, but all things done in decency and order in your house. For your glory, for your kingdom come, and your will be done here in Wilsden, as you have declared it to me in the heavens producer. and in the earth we pray these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ This is a demonstration of Ustream producer. Have you had a blessed time in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. Amen. A refreshing word. And we are now going to close this session. I'm just going to ask you just to stand. I know you just were seating. Just stand. And we'll just say our benediction together. This is a demonstration of you stream producer. The of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit.
Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide of us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you. There is service this evening at 6 p.m. Feel free to come back. There is washing of the saints' feet this evening, foot washing service at 6 p.m. This evening. God bless you. This is a demonstration of Ustream Producer.